Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Placer County deputies sounding the alarm after an uptick in fentanyl-related deaths. The Sheriff's Office reports the county has had 50 overdose deaths since 2019. The Stanislaus County Health Department is recommending an end to the state of emergency for COVID-19. The Board of Supervisors is set to take up the recommendations at Tuesday's meeting. Just days before South Korea's presidential election, North Korea has filed another ballistic missile into the sea. It's the ninth so far this year, the last happening on February 27th. The U.S. Supreme Court has reinstated the death sentence for Boston Marathon bomber Zokar Zernayev. That bombing killed three people near the finish line of the marathon in 2013. The death of Stanford soccer star Katie Meyer has been ruled a suicide. The 22-year-old led the team to a championship in 2019. Her parents told the Today Show that a potential disciplinary action by the school might have triggered something for their daughter. Authorities say a male student shot and wounded a school administrator and a school resource officer Friday at a suburban Kansas City High School. The student was also shot when the officer returned fire. All three are expected to survive. Caught on camera, a 2010 Teacher of the Year in Indiana slapping a student. He slaps a teen so hard that his head slams into the wall. The 61-year-old teacher has been arrested and fired after four decades on the job. Sacramento-based Insight Coffee Roasters confirming today they will close their final location on 8th Street. It has been open since 2011 and they did not give a final closing date. The National Day of Unplugging is underway, running to sundown on Saturday. The goal is simple, take a tech break by shutting off things like phones, tablets, TV gaming systems. It's really about connecting to things that matter beyond screens, which is human connection, which we haven't had enough of in the last couple of years, and connecting to yourself. Mom and Chick are connecting after a baby bald eagle hatched some 145 feet over Big Bear Lake. This webcam from Friends of Big Bear Valley shows the new arrival, and you can see there's a second egg that could hatch in a few days. Those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.